Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing a full face tutorial using all either really, really popular makeup products, really, really hyped up makeup products or the highest rated products. So this is a bunch of makeup um, that basically the entire world is in love with or that is really popular on social media at the minute. Some of which I have tried, some of which I haven't. So I'll be testing them for the first time um, in today's video. Um, yeah, I'm really, really excited. Let's not ramble on too much in the intro, let's jump straight into it. So if you are interested in seeing me use a full face of really, really hyped up, high rated products, then please keep on watching. Literally so excited for today's video, you guys. So excited. So I'm gonna start off with primer. I have got the Tarcha Silk Canvas Primer here. You guys have heard me talk about this product many, many times before. This primer absolutely took the world by storm when it was launched. Um, it is available here in Australia at Mecca. In fact, all of these products here that I'm using today are available at Mecca. But yeah, it absolutely took the world by by storm, took social media by storm. Everybody is raving on about it. And you know what? I completely agree with the hype. I've actually spoken about this product in plenty of videos before. It is so good. It's like a balm kind of primer. You apply it to the skin and it sort of melts in, but it does an amazing job at creating a really nice smooth surface for your foundation to go on top of. And it also does an amazing job at keeping your makeup in place all day long, even on oily skin. So yeah, huge thumbs up from me for this one. I think it's totally worth it. I understand understand why it's rated so highly um and also when i say high rated products that means that the products that i'm using have been rated like four and a half stars or higher so everyone literally loves them <laughs> next up moving on to foundation this is one of the highest rated most popular foundations out there and I totally understand why. Again, you guys have heard me talk about this a million times. It's basically a foundation that's targeted towards long wear on skin. But let me tell you, if you are an oily skin type like me, if you have the same issues that I do, you are going to love this. It's actually one of my holy grail foundations, this one. Again, if you've been subscribed for a little while, you already know that. It just looks so nice on the skin. It just lasts so well during the day or the night, all night out, we get it. It's beautiful. It doesn't separate when your oils come through. It does a really good job actually of keeping me fairly matte. But if my oils do come through, um, like it doesn't separate, it doesn't cake, it still stays looking really, really nice on the skin. So... I am a huge fan of this one, absolutely huge fan. I will mention just quickly though, guys, this one does dry down a fair bit darker than the shade looks when you initially swatch it on your skin. So if you're looking to pick it up, either go, you know, a couple of shades lighter or just make sure you go in and you test it on your skin first because as it dries down, it does get a little darker. Um, yeah just for shade reference. Okay, next up I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows. And this is actually a product that I've never tried before. This is the Josie Moran The Good Brow. Um, the original product that I wanted to use for this video, it turned out that I didn't have it in my color. I got the wrong color. So we're moving on um, and I've had a look online and everybody is talking about this and everybody is rating this. I think it's got a rating of like 4.6 stars out of five. So it's really, really well rated. It's a double ended pencil. So on one side there's a highlight and then on the other side, it's like a brow filling in pencil. But from what I could tell, everybody raves on about this because it's so easy to use. So just using it to fill in my brow. So it's a really nice cool tone color, which I can already tell that's awesome but it's also quite a dry formula I'm finding. So that's really good too. If you've ever tried to use a brow pencil and it's like, you know, like super pigmented or super creamy and you end up with the scariest looking brows on earth. I've been there. I'm sure you've been there too. I totally get it. So this one's like a really nice dry formula. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's so popular because of that reason. Can you guys hear that background noise? They're building a brand new house next, like right next door and the builders are so loud. Not gonna lie, I definitely eavesdrop on half their conversations and it's very juicy, very juicy. <laughs> All right, so the brows are done. I've moved you guys in a little bit so you can see a little bit better. We're gonna move on to the eyes. So I'm going to be priming my eyes today with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Um, This is probably hands down the world's most loved, most popular eyeshadow primer ever. It's so highly rated, nearly everybody's got it. Everybody talks about it, everybody loves it. It's all over social media. So we're gonna be using this one today. Um, this isn't a new product for me. I've definitely used this one before and it definitely for sure will keep your eyeshadow in place. So I just use the applicator basically 
and then I blend it in with a finger. Definitely very smooth. I think it's got like a silicone base and it will definitely stop your shadows from creasing and will make them look more vibrant during the day. Now, moving on to the eyeshadow palette and you guys, I'm so excited about this. You have no idea. This is the brand new Urban Decay Born to Run eyeshadow palette. And I just can't believe how lucky I am. I was chosen by Urban Decay and Mecca Maxima to actually launch this here in Australia. I got to participate in a scavenger hunt and give someone the very, very first Born to Run eyeshadow palette here in Australia. Literally, it was so much fun and I just feel so lucky to have been chosen for that. So we're going to be using this eyeshadow palette in this video here today. I did do a full review video on this already, so I will link that one down below. But nearly half the comments on that video were asking me to use these beautiful greens and blues that are in this palette. So I think that's what we're going to do today. I mean, this palette's just gorgeous. Look at all of the colors in this. So basically the idea behind this is it's got every single eyeshadow color and texture and finish in it that you could need to do a complete complete eyeshadow look if you are traveling. It's like the one eyeshadow palette to roll them all. <laughs> that started to sound very Lord of the Rings. I'm up to the third book. I'm reading it for like the 10th time ever. <laughs> but yeah, it's got beautiful shimmers, beautiful matte blending colors, transitions. It's got a bone color. It's got a black. Like this palette's literally got everything. So yeah, we're going to use this today. I was overwhelmed with the amount of comments on my review video of this from people being like, use the greens, use the blues. So yeah, we're going to do that today. And I mean, honestly, who gets chosen to work with Urban Decay? Thank you so much, Urban Decay, for partnering up with me. Like, that is, it is crazy. So first up on a large fluffy brush, I'm going to take this shade here. This is Breakaway. This is like a champagne color, and it does have a small amount of shimmer in it. But I found it, I mean, I've used this palette a bunch of times now. But I found that you can actually use this to highlight, but you can also use it to set down your primer as well. Because when it's blended with a fluffy brush, it doesn't look like over the top shimmery it kind of looks matte but wait till you see it as a highlighter you'll be like whoa that's not the same eyeshadow it's like a really cool multi-use one tell you what else i absolutely love about this palette it has an orange orange is literally the best color that you can include in an eyeshadow palette because it is so amazing through the crease so i'm gonna take baja is that how it's pronounced? Baja. Um, it's a beautiful, rich matte orange. Just on a fluffy brush. And I'm going to actually work that one backwards and forwards through the crease. You do want to see, you know, swatches of all of the shades and, you know, a full review on the palette. Like I said, I did do a whole video on that. And I will link that one um, in the description bar down below. Okay, so there's a couple of greeny blue shades in this bottom corner. I nearly do I mean they're all gorgeous so I feel like I'll probably end up doing a mix of them all but I nearly want to do like a full smoky eye with this one I mean it's so pretty they're all so pretty look at that turquoise oh my god and wanderlust oh it's so hard to choose drift as well like literally how am I supposed to choose seriously how am I supposed to choose so first off I'm taking big sky which is this beautiful turquoise shadow I'm gonna apply that on the inner part of my eye Oh my goodness, that color. Look at that color. Oh, Urban Decay, you're killing me. This is actually the first time I've used this color on my lid. Did not. <laughs> that is insane. So I'm basically just packing it on first and then we're going to go back in and blend like the edges with a brush later. Okay, now taking a clean blending brush, I'm going to take a tiny bit of that shadow. And I'm going to very lightly use that on the edges to just sort of buff it out okay so next up i'm going to take drift which is like this metallic deep gray shadow here and i'm going to pack that in the outer corner oh <gasps> oh my god i'm in love and then similar to what we did on the inner corner i'm just going to take a blending brush with a tiny bit of that shadow and very softly just haze that edge out And then just taking a little bit more of that orange, I'm just going to use that right on the edge. This is why orange is amazing. You can, you know, add it to any eyeshadow look to blend and it just, it really brings out the vibrancy of all the other colors that you've used. I just absolutely love orange. And just repeating the same thing on this side. So I feel like in the lower lash line, we should use some of this beautiful blue. So this is called Radio. But first, before applying that, I'm just going to blend a little color through the lower lash line, kind of as a transition color. I might take this one here. This is Riff. It's a really nice matte, warm tone brown. And I'm just going to blend that 
under here first. It makes it a lot easier if you've never done this before or if you're new to sort of using a color or a darker shade through the lower lash line. Just apply like a transition shade first, the same way that you would on, you know, the upper lid. It'll make it a lot easier to blend it out, I promise. Applying that with a blending brush. You could definitely use an orange, like the same orange that we used through the crease here as well. I feel like this is making my eyes look really, really blue and I'm not mad about it. <laughs> Okay, so picking up that blue radio shade now, and I'm going to rub that really closely through that lower lash line. Oh my gosh, in love, literally in love. And then taking that same pencil brush with the warm tone brown, I just use that sort of gently over the edges of that to sort of haze it out and smoke it up. Also, again, if you're not into color, um, in the review video that I did on this palette, I used, you know, like warm tones and coppers and things like that. So if you want to see a warm tone look again, that video is linked down below. Now, finally, to finish the eye, I'm going to highlight the inner corner and the brow bone um, with the same breakaway shade that we used earlier. Applying that to the inner corner. Like it definitely makes a beautiful highlight as well. Ooh, I think I might add some of that turquoise just here as well. What do you think? I feel like we should just here it adds just a tiny little bit more dimension to the whole eyeshadow look I feel okay I'm using the Urban Decay 24 7 glide on eye pencil in the shade zero this is like their creamy black one again I've used this product in plenty of videos um it is one of the highest rated most popular um eyeliner pencils out there and I'm going to use that to tight line my upper lash line tight lining is for sure not the most attractive thing to see done on camera <laughs> so maybe i'll do it off camera um, but i'm also going to line the waterline of my lower lash line as well okay moving on to mascara i've got the urban decay perversion mascara um this is a mascara that you guys have seen me use again plenty of times um i'm a fan of this one and i mean obviously the entire world's a fan of it because that's literally the point of this entire video highest rated most loved most popular products but i personally love this because it doesn't smudge on my oily skin and you guys know how much of a hell of a time i have with that with mascaras um, but yes, I'm going to apply this mascara and then I'm going to pop some lashes on and then we're going to move on to the face. So yeah, I'll see you guys soon. All right. So moving on to the face, I have the NARS Complete Matte Concealer. This is the highest, highest rated concealer. Um, and again, I mean, I feel like I've said that with all these products. I totally understand why this has been so popular. It's funny too, because I was always a huge fan of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Um, and I was like, nothing will ever overtake this. This one's amazing. So it's a little pot concealer. I just pick it up on a beauty blender and then apply it directly to the skin. So creamy, so full coverage, so long lasting. It doesn't crease. It does an amazing job of brightening and highlighting the area. Like it is a brilliant concealer. So I totally understand. This one's rated like 4.9 out of 5. I totally get why. Totally get why. So I'm using that under my eyes to both conceal and highlight and then also down the bridge of my nose. This is another product where the entire world was like, oh, we are shook. Oh my gosh. And I'm on board with everyone else. I really am. All right, moving on to powder. I've got the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the color Dim Light. From what I can tell from everywhere I look, this is the highest rated setting powder out of literally all of them. This is a pressed setting powder. And these ambient powders by Hourglass, they've actually got technology in them to kind of give the illusion of different lighting conditions. So I'm just applying it with a brush, but obviously dim light, you know, everything looks smoothed out. Everything looks flawless. Everything looks like more perfect in dim light than other lights so that's kind of what this powder does obviously you can see from mine she's super banged up i've had this for such a long time and i can definitely vouch for this making the skin super smooth um you know it just it makes it look like kind of blurred out it's kind of like photoshop in a powder it's really really nice you guys would remember me using these in my videos all the time i used to wear these like every single day moving on to bronzer by far the most popular most hyped about all over the internet and the highest rated bronzer that i seem to be able to find is by Too Faced. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is actually their new updated packaging. Um, the other one looked a little bit different to this. The new packaging is beautiful though. Like how pretty is it? The thing about these, oh, they smell like chocolate. Like they literally smell like chocolate. I want to eat all of it. I want a hot chocolate now. Oh. So I am applying that with an angled brush. 
Oh, things are coming together now. So I'm kind of not really like directly contouring with this. I'm sort of just using it to warm up my face. Oh my gosh, all I can smell is chocolate. <laughs> Don't do it, Nakia. You guys, I, have, I need to make a confession. Literally have been eating so well last night. Your girl basically ate half a loaf of bread. I was like, I need Vegemite toast in my life. If you're not Australian, you're probably not going to understand that. <laughs> but I just kept eating it. What's wrong with me? So I kind of have a bread hangover today. Have any of you guys ever had a bread hangover? Interesting experience involving lots of bloating. <laughs> All right, moving on to blush. And I feel like this video just wouldn't be complete without using this one. NARS Orgasm Blush. I... I would nearly bet money that there's nobody watching this that hasn't heard of this blush before. If you've never heard of NARS Orgasm Blush, leave a comment down below. I'd be so interested to hear if you haven't. This thing is everywhere. Pretty sure it's NARS's best-selling blush, but they're just known for this shade. They've just launched um like a complete collection in orgasm, like lipsticks and things like that. But it's like a beautiful kind of coral color with sort of like a gold shift. It's really pretty. It's the highest rated. It's the most popular. It's the most talked about. People love this. I like too that the gold in it isn't like chunky. Um, if you've got textured skin like me, you'll totally understand chunky blushes on textured skin. Okay, next up, another new product that we're going to test out. Um, this, from what I can tell, one of the highest rated um, highlighters out there. And it's funny because I've never actually tried it. So this is the Too Faced. It's like their diamond... Oh no, it hasn't got a name on it. Oh no. It's their diamond highlighter and it looks to be kind of like a color shifting sort of iridescent highlighter. How cute is this box? It's like a little ring box. I might propose to myself. I'm going to try this one out and figure out what the whole world is going crazy over. So just on a highlighting brush. Oh, okay. I get the hype now. Okay. Oh my gosh, look how pretty and romantic that is. Okay, that is beautiful. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Really good for festivals and things. Okay, moving on to lipstick. I've got the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in the shade Backtalk. Literally their best seller ever. I didn't know this until like a couple of weeks ago. And I didn't actually use this color until a couple of weeks ago. And pretty much since then, I've used it nearly every single day. It's the prettiest like nude mauvey pink. I love it. This is another product that you guys have seen me use in like a whole bunch of recent videos. And just uh, apply it. You know the drill. How nice is that color? Literally, I feel like this is one of those shades that you can wear with any kind of eyeshadow look. Even like neutral, no makeup days, this looks really pretty with. And then finally, um, I feel like this video wouldn't be complete without using the setting spray that the entire world literally dies over. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and actually this is so cool. They gave me a little personalized one. How cute is that? Love. So this one promises up to 16 hour wear, temperature control, lightweight, a whole bunch of stuff. I know everybody is obsessed with this. So I'm going to use it to finish my makeup. Well, it smells good. So there you have it, guys. This is my finished look. So, you know, all products, like I said, most popular, highest rated or most hyped up on the internet. Um, I hope that you enjoyed seeing some different products here in today's video. And I also hope that all of you who have been requesting a green smoky eye did enjoy this look as well. I'm low-key obsessed with it and I feel like we need to use a lot more green in our lives. <laughs> I love you guys so much. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye.